Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I want to show you how to get WHD Load Amiga games to launch directly from within Emulation Station. In the past, we had to go into UAE for All for each game and set it up, or even Amiberry or UAE for ARM. We're going to be following Horus and the Spider's Guide. All the links will be in the description. Now this video is just kind of going to get you acquainted with it, how to use it. There are some demo games that pre-install and that's what we're going to be using in this video. If you want to install more, follow his guide. First thing we need to do is connect to the internet. I'm using Ethernet, but you can also choose Wi-Fi if you want to. I'm using a fresh install of RetroPie 4.2. Next thing we need to do is go to Raspi Config. We're going to enable SSH. From the Raspi Config menu, we need to scroll down to Interfacing Options and enable SSH. Very easy to do. We don't have to do a reboot. SSH is now enabled on a Raspberry Pi running RetroPie 4.2. And now it's time to update our RetroPie build. I definitely recommend doing this. It's not a must, but you should go ahead and do it. We're going to go to the RetroPie setup. From this menu here, we're going to press OK and scroll down to Update RetroPie Setup Script. This is not going to update RetroPie. It's just going to update the setup script. So go ahead and do this. The script is going to tell RetroPie what's updated, and when we run a basic install, it'll update everything for us. So let this finish up. When the setup script is finished updating, press OK. It's time to run a basic install. Now this isn't going to update every single package, but it's going to update a lot of the important stuff, like Emulation Station, Moopin64, and things like that. Go ahead and run a basic install. This could take a little while, so be patient. When the basic install is finished, we now need to install another emulator. It's called Amiberry. In my opinion, it's the best Amiga emulator right now for RetroPie. So scroll down to Manage Packages, Manage Optional Packages, and right there at the top, Amiberry. Click OK. Install from binary, and let this go. We are now done updating and installing the new Amiga emulator, Amiberry. So we need to do a reboot. Click back, back, back. Scroll down to perform reboot. If you did everything correctly, you should now have an Amiga option on our main menu. It's time to move over to the PC. We're going to run his auto install script, and this is super easy to do. If you get into any trouble at all, follow his guide. Everything you need to know is there. One of the main things we need is this Raspberry Pi connected to the same network that we're going to be running the script from. So if you're on your Belkin network, your PC also needs to be on that same network. This will also work with Mac and Linux. You'll just need to find a way to connect with SSH. Okay, so now I'm back at the PC. I'm going to be transferring all of my games from. The Raspberry Pi is still connected, and it's on the same exact network as this computer. We're going to be following Horus and the Spiders tutorial over here. This web page is loaded with content. We have a guide, an FAQ, downloads. Everything you need to know about this is here. The one thing we're going to be focusing on is the automatic setup, the RetroPie Amiga setup script. Go ahead and click on this. But first, we need to download PuTTY. Links in the description for all of this. I'm just going to download the EXE here. And I actually already had one. Place it on my desktop. Open it up. Run. And we need to make sure we can connect to our Raspberry Pi. In the host name, we're going to type in RetroPie. If RetroPie doesn't work, you can always use the IP address of your Raspberry Pi. Make sure SSH is chosen and click Open. From here, we're going to log in as Pi, P-I, Enter, and our password is Raspberry, Enter. We are now connected to our Raspberry Pi. We can access the file system from our PC. We're going to snap this over to the left hand side and open up Horus and the Spiders GitHub page. So this is super easy to do. We're going to install a new option in the RetroPie menu called 
automatic Amiga setup. We're just going to copy and paste all of this. So I'm going to go CD, Home, Pi, RetroPi, RetroPi menu. That's going to take us to this directory. Next, we're going to wget his code here, or his script. And finally, we're going to make sure we can access it by using a change mode command, chmod. So now we have the auto Amiga install set up on our Raspberry Pi. We need to move over there now, reboot one time, go to the RetroPi menu, and run the auto Amiga install. We're going to move over there now. If you want to add more games, you can always come back later and do so. But for this tutorial, I just kind of wanted to show you guys how to get it set up real quick. Now, as you can see, there are tons of config files, tons of game data here. If you want to add more games, all you have to do is go into the guide or the FAQ. Very easy to do. Let's move over to the Raspberry Pi and get this set up. So we're almost done here. We need to reboot the system once, so we're going to press start on our controller, scroll down to quit, and restart system. Yes. Now that we're rebooted, we're going to go to the RetroPi menu, and we should now have an Auto Amiga install option. Click on it, it's going to automatically install it for us. It's going to also download some demo games, and those are the ones I'm just going to show you now. Like I said before, follow his tutorial online and you can install as many games as you want. He also has a dedicated Amiga scraper. I don't like it, but it does work. We're going to back up once. We need to restart the system one more time. Press start. So now, as you can see on my main menu, I have the Amiga logo with six games available. We're going to go in here, and I'm just going to start Supercars 2. It's going to launch Amiberry and the WHD bootloader. So the controller works with Amiberry. It's already pre-set up. I'm using the Xbox One S wired controller. The only downside is I can't exit the game with the controller. I'm going to show you a little bit of gameplay here. Just did our auto bootloader. We no longer have to go into Amiberry or UAE for all to launch our games. All of the stuff that he has on his site is pre-set up. It's ready to go for you. He has a few games on there that you can try out. Let's get into some gameplay real quick. To exit this emulator, you have to have a keyboard. Now, if you know another way, please let me know in the comments below. But I've been pressing F12 on my keyboard, and I'll show you that in a second. I just want to show you that these games do work. So I'm going to exit the game now by pressing F12 on my keyboard. You can use your arrow keys or a mouse to go to quit. It'll bring us back into emulation station. So that's it for this video, guys. I just wanted to give you a quick setup for launching Amiga games directly from within emulation station. I can't really explain it any better than he can on his website. All I really wanted to accomplish with this video was to bring it to your attention. Link to the websites in the description. I also have a link to Putty down below. This is an awesome option here. He also offers the dedicated Amiga scraper, but if you're trying to scrape, let's say 300 games, it takes forever, at least in my experience. It does work, but you kinda need to sit by because it's not very accurate. Sometimes you'll have to choose the game to scrape or choose the correct game to scrape. If you guys could, hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more great content. I'm going to leave links to Horace and the Spiders YouTube page. He also has some videos on this. There's no talking or anything, but if you want to watch a video on it, you could definitely follow along. Like always, thanks for watching.